As the lead game designer on IGI, making sure the player has choice is always at the heart of the game. It's an ethos that drives the game design team. IGI was a pioneer of the tactical shooter genre, one of the first games to give players large open levels and choice on how to approach the missions. When you also factor in IGI Origins theme of being a lone agent, taking on a brutal world of espionage, allowing player choice gives us the opportunity to mirror the real world. As an agent on the field, you would expect to gauge the situation, make a plan, and then execute in the way that gives you the best chances of success and survival. Like the original, this IGI is going to be a dangerous game. High levels of lethality. So it's easy to kill and it's easy to be killed. And because of that, you're going to want to know more about your environment. You want to know what you're walking into. So the player is going to need to recon an area properly. Uh, make sure that they know where the threats are, where they're going to come from if things go wrong. Uh, and build a plan, just a, a quick mental map of what it is that you're going to do. But if the plan goes wrong, you're going to need to think on your feet and respond quickly so that you stay alive. So players will feel an immense satisfaction when they complete a mission because they'll know that it was their plan, it was their quick thinking, it was their split second reactions that, that saved the day or completed the objective. And that's important to us to provide the players with the opportunity to do that. To give players a sense of agency, we designed a gameplay space with some extremes in mind. For example, if you see a guard on a watchtower, you can climb on it and take him down to use the vantage point for sniping or recon, or you can exploit its blind spots on the ground to sneak undetected. Instead of it being a linear experience where we, the devs, always have a solution in mind, it is up to the players to assess what works best for them. One of the most satisfying things for me personally as a developer on IGI is being constantly challenged by this idea of playstyles. When we put environments together and we put situations and encounters together, it's very easy to get carried away thinking about how you want to play it and how you would tackle it. It's quite enlightening to be challenged to make sure that people that play in a completely opposite way to you are going to have fun. And I've learned a lot doing that. Our ultimate goal is to build a game where we see methods of completion that we hadn't even thought of, coming from your creativity and strategies. That is when we know that game design has succeeded. Thank you for watching, now gear up, keep monitoring our social channels and we'll see you next time.